Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is in ScreenFlow 10. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import LUTs, or color lookup tables, that are used for color grading. So you can give your videos in ScreenFlow their own custom color effect, just like you could in something like Adobe Premiere Pro. You can make LUTs in Adobe Premiere Pro, Photoshop, or you can also purchase LUTs, so you can give your video their own custom look. Let me show you how to import LUTs into ScreenFlow 10. To apply color filters or import your own in ScreenFlow 10, select the footage on the timeline, come up to the video property in the inspector panel, go down to filters and effects, then click on the plus icon, just select the effect, click add, and you'll see it is applied to your clip. To import your own custom LUTs or creative color effects, just select any clip on the timeline, Go up to the video property in the inspector panel. Go down to filters and effects. I'll twirl that open and just click on the plus. And if you click on the question mark, you will see that you can use your own LUT files as long as they end in the adobe.cube file extension. The first way to import your own custom LUT files in ScreenFlow 10 is if you look in the top right corner, you will see import. And the tooltip will tell you that you can import an Adobe Cube LUT file. So just click on the word import, Finder will open, just navigate anywhere on your hard drive where you have LUT saved, just select one, click open. So the custom LUT has been imported, it's now part of the color effects library in ScreenFlow 10. To apply it, just select clips on the timeline, click on it, and click add. And the second way to import your own custom LUTs is after you've applied a color effect, all you have to do is come over here to the style drop down menu. You can click on this. You can change the style so you can change it to a new LUT. Or if you look down here, you will see import. Once you click on import, it's going to open up Finder. Just locate a LUT that you want to import. I'll click on it, click on open, and now you have another custom LUT. If you click on the plus icon, it'll take you back to the color effects library and you'll see there's the first one we imported and there's the second custom LUT. Use the intensity slider to control how much of an effect. So 100% is the full effect. If you drag it to zero, it's going to be back to the original clip. And you can just drag this slider to get a custom look. You can also stack color effects on top of each other. Just click on the plus, add another effect, click add. You can change the order by just clicking on these three little dots. So I can just click and move this one on top if I want. Use the intensity slider to get a new look. If I want to remove one, all you have to do is just click on the X in the top right corner. If you ever want to delete or remove custom LUTs that you've imported, all you have to do is go to the style menu. We'll click on the drop down and go down to manage. I'll click on that. That is going to open up Finder. There's a LUTs folder in your library on your Mac. I'll twirl that open. And there are the two that I just imported. So if I want to delete them, I'll just select them. I'll hit Command Delete. And now if I go back to my Color Effects library, those custom LUTs are gone. And to re-import, all you have to do is just click on the Import button, select a LUT, click Open, and Repeat. And that is how to add and import your own color effects into ScreenFlow 10. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.